you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive. You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy. I'm going in there and I will tell you now, this fight is not going the distance. Tommy, glad to have you here in the building. Glad to be here, glad to be here. For a fight that's been, we were just talking, two, about two and a half years in the making. Yeah, two and a half years in the making. Um, a little bit too long for my liking, yeah, but yeah. we're here now. It's all announced, everybody knows about it. There's a lot of hype around it and um, we're not too far out either. So uh, I think we're about four weeks away and I'm just happy. I've been training for a long time because yeah. I knew it was eventually going to come. You know, he's had two lucky escapes from this fight and he's obviously not smart enough to take them. You know, I had a broken rib the first time. What can you do about that? The second time, denied entry into US. Can't help that. Third time, well, he's been begging on and begging on for it. So, you know the saying, be careful what you wish for. Well, he's about to experience that first hand. He should have took the two lucky escapes that he had and played it off like I didn't want to fight because believe you me, I did want to fight and I'm here. I've been training for weeks and weeks and months and months. Been sparring world-class people in the gym three, four days a week. I am in the best condition possible. And it's just going to be amazing because on the night, you know, he prances around like he's Canelo Alvarez and he's the king of boxing and this and that. On the night, he's going to get humbled in a very bad way because for this fight, there's no, you know, emotions running through this fight for me. It's purely business, but he's a man that I do want to dismantle on the night. And I believe the way I'm shaping up in the gym, the, the things I'm doing against seasoned fighters, people who've been fighting all their life, it doesn't add up very well for Jake Paul on February 26. You spoke a little bit about business there, and there's no denying that Jake Paul is he's a good businessman, mm. but he also takes this boxing career that he's built very, very seriously. He's out in Puerto Rico training, he's got his own gym. When you, when you see that, he says the difference between you and him is his, his dedication, his obsession with the sport, but mm -hmm. how would you respond? I respond in, just because my movements aren't plastered over the internet and I'm not doing stuff for views, I have been up every single day at 4.30, 5am for the past 15, 16 weeks, putting miles in, in the pitch dark, my coat on, my hat on, miles and miles and miles down that road, no headphones. He's all that I'm thinking about. And at the end of the day, I put my work in every single day. And I've not just put the work in for the past three years, four years. I've been doing this since I've been six years old. You can't be that clever to get in the ring with me because I'll tell you now, you couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take a dive. You couldn't pay me a trillion pound to take it easy. I'm going in there and I will tell you now, this fight is not going the distance. There's a lot of egos at play. There's, there's been a lot of bad blood, some, some, some bad words said between you both. But who actually has the most to lose? Because he says, that is you have the most to lose, or he has the most to lose. But I, you know, I believe obviously with the Fury name, it could potentially be the other way around. Do you know what it is? There's no pressure on me. And there never has been um, while I've been boxing because I've said to absolutely everybody that's ever interviewed me, what about the pressure? What about the last name? Hold on a minute, I'm not Tyson. You know, I'll never be Tyson. Ty the, a Tyson comes along every hundred years and it'll be another hundred years before he comes along again. I'm just trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. My life is already, everything I dreamed of right now, even before this fight. So to be sat in this chair, you know, with everything that's going on, it, this is all a dream for me anyway. So our dreams come true for me. So at the end of the day, I've got nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. He's the one with the talking and he can beat Canelo Alvarez and he can beat Mike Tyson, he can do all this stuff. At the end of the day, I'm here and he can't beat me. He can't, he's not even good enough to lace my boots up. Yeah, he's got a load of money. He can buy his own gym, he can buy trainers. But guess what? He could have Angelo Dundee in his corner on February 26th and he still ain't beating me because just because you can have all these famous people around you just because Tyson's around me you know mm. and he's around me in training I'm not going to go out there and box like Tyson I can't go and beat Deontay Wilder it doesn't matter who you've got around you it's about what's in here and I know this is 10 times bigger than his and I know when it comes down to it he can't beat me in a fight not through Monday to Sunday he can't beat me on a fight there's no way in the world because even if I never train for this my heart alone will get me through a fight with him, not a problem. He's useless, he's big, st he's even stiffer than me, and I've got a load of muscle on me. He can't move out the way of a shot. His boxing fundamentals are awful, because every fight's the same. And genuinely, when you're messing with proper people who can fight in the gym, and then you go and watch tape on him, the man is a pure white collar fighter. He does not know how to fight. I'm not 50 years old, I'm not 40 years old, I'm not an MMA fighter. All the little tricks of the trade, he's going to find out on the night and he's going to be absolutely puzzled. And I'm going to be there right in front of him laughing, saying you got exactly what you wanted, didn't you? And he's going to do nothing about it. 
do you believe that once you beat Jake Paul, you're going to get back to what you would say is real boxing, boxing real fighters? Yeah, definitely. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, all these lucrative fights are out there, you know, I'll clear up. But my sole, you know, goal since starting boxing has always been the same. It's to be a world champion. You know, and I do believe I've got what it takes to be there and get to that level. And I do believe everyone writes me off because, because of Love Island, you know, there's a lot of jealousy, there's a lot of stuff going on. I'm going to beat him and put an end to him once and for all, and everybody can thank me for doing it. And then guess what? I'm going to get back on my route, win some titles and go down in history. And then I'll bob me at and I'll leave the sport. That's my goal. It's a great plan. Listen, I, you, you've spoken about Tyson a few times and it, it would be wrong of me not to mention the fact that Tyson's come out and said, listen, if you do not beat Jake Paul, you better stay in Saudi Arabia. See, How does that make you feel? Does that not pile pressure on you? No, definitely not, because I know my family. But at the end of the day, quietly, we're all laughing in the background because we can't believe how stupid this man's been. You come from a long line of fighting men, yeah. proud fighting men. Talk to me, are you going to take, I know you're, like, Tyson's, just, Tyson's just walked in here, but we're just, we're just talking about the big man. You talk, you talk. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to take, I know you're, are you going to head out to Saudi a little bit early? you know, finish off your camp there. Are you going to take out any of the Fury clan with you? Yeah, definitely. Tyson will be coming over. My dad will be there. Everybody will be out in full force in Saudi because this is, you know, let's have it right. It's the biggest fight in my career, but it's not the toughest test of my career because I've had tougher spars in the gym. I know sparring isn't fighting, but I'll tell you one thing. There's just, I've got a plan from A to Z for this man. Yeah. You know, there's a million and one things that he's going to fall for and he doesn't realise it. <laughs> and this man's jumping into the deep end and... I'm, I'm just smirking to myself. I pinch myself every time, every single day to see if it's real. You want to pay me a heap of money to fight Jake Paul? Chris must come early for me. No problem, mate. Sign me up. People should tune in on the 26th of February because it's going to be the end of an idiot. It's going to be the end of a clown who is delusional. He's tried to come into the sport, take it over, rule the roost, and it's not happening. You know, he's this superstar. He's this and that. Well... February 26th, he will be humbled and he will be defeated. And I will put money on that. I bet my whole life on it. Jake Paul's leaving Saudi Arabia with his first loss. Tommy, strong words. Absolute pleasure. Appreciate Good it. Good luck fighting that. Top man.